What's happening everybody? Marcus here with Next Level Recording and thanks for checking out the channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell so you know exactly when I am posting new videos and let's get into it. Today, I'm gonna be talking about three things that I do at the beginning of every mix, so let's get into it. Now, the first two things that I focus on are volume and panning and I spend about an hour and a half, almost two hours sometimes. Now, I know that seems like a lot, but if you have a solid foundation of this balance, your mixes are gonna be way Way better in the end. Now, if mixing is all about balance, then why not start with volume and panning? If you've never tried to just pan something from right to left or left to right, it makes a huge difference. Sometimes when you move something in the spectrum of the sound field, it clears up space for another element that it might have been fighting with that you didn't realize at first. So try moving things around, try changing volumes and push things back with turning it down, pull things forward with turning it up, move it left to right, and I guarantee you, you're gonna have great results if you focus on this and make sure that foundation is solid. Now, the third thing that I do is overall EQ. And what I mean by that is I don't touch any EQ or compressor on any of the individual elements in the song. Now, imagine that all of your tracks are being sent to your master fader. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put an EQ on your master fader, whether that's the Manly Massive Passive, a Pultec EQ, or anything of your choice, and you're gonna boost up the low end a little bit, you're gonna brighten it a little bit, maybe at 16K with a little broad shelf, and you could take out a little bit of mud and now all of a sudden without doing any EQ or compression on any of your individual tracks, your song sounds like a song already. Now when you go into the individual compression and EQ settings on each channel, you're not having to do as big of moves. Hey, I don't have to brighten up my vocal as much because it's already really kind of there because I did it in the overall EQ. So your moves become smaller, but they become more natural and more apparent and clear in the mix. Please try this on your next mix. I guarantee you if you focus on balancing these things, your mixes are gonna go from here to here. Start with the volume, get a good balance, pan things from right to left, left to right, wherever it might be, maybe it's halfway in between, and then do an overall EQing of the entire song, and all of a sudden, like I said, it's gonna sound like a song. Try these in your next mix. Let me know in the comments how it works for you. If you like these videos, please like them, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you know exactly when I'm posting new videos. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.